Hi, and welcome to EFIT Adventures. My name's Darren, and this channel is about backpacking, cooking, and fitness. And today, I'm going to take you through my gear loadout for my next backpacking trip. So stay tuned. Hi, and welcome back. So we're here in sunny California, which right now, it's not too sunny. It's about 80 degrees right now. There's a lot of smoke in the area due to the wildfires in the area. Um, my heart and prayers go out to them. I'm planning to go on a backpacking trip in a couple weeks. Uh, it's down into the coast near Point Reyes. And the temperatures are said to be in the highs 70s and the lows about 50s, but I always prepare for at least a 10 degree difference. Um, but today I wanted to show you my gear loadout for the trip. It's a two night, three day trip. So here's my gear loadout uh, with no further ado. This is my pack. This is an Osprey Exos 48 liter, just over two pounds. I uh, removed the lid that's normally on here, just to lighten the load, light on the weight. Uh, but first off, we got here is my trekking pole, uh, Cascade Mountech. Um, I just need one pole for my tent, uh, so that's all I need to bring. Uh, in my front pouch here, I have my ground sheet for under my tent, and uh, some camp shoes. These are zero. These are the trail shoes, the trail shoes. Also in the front pouch, I keep my rain jacket. This is the outdoor helium two rain jacket. Um, on the side, I have my tent or my shelter. Since we're gonna be on the coast, um, I went the tent route because I don't think there's gonna be any trees to hang a hammock. Uh, this is the Lanshan Pro series. This is the single wall tent. Um, it's about 690 grams. On the bottom here, I have my REI Flex Light chair, one pound. On this side, I always keep some hand sanitizer and an AccuRite thermometer. On this side, I have a a towel. On this side, I wanted to try out a the Nature Hike three in one air pump. I did a review on this. If you want to check it out in the cards, um, it has a 9,000 milliamp battery. It is a lantern, uh, which is nice, and it also can inflate my air pad. Uh, another thing I have on this side is my water filtration system. This is a Ketadyne B3 um, nozzle on the top. It's a filter with a Hydropack 2 liter uh, soft flask. I just keep a shot cord around it. Very convenient for water carry storage. Just have a little piece of shot cord to secure it. Um, I'm going to be testing that out. That's new. Um, and then also on the side, I keep my cook system. This is a Tox 750 milliliter pot. I have an MSR uh, Pocket Rocket 2 with a microfiber cloth, a lighter, and a canister. Uh, eating utensils is a, uh, the Duo Sport and Spoon. And I just have a packet of coffee on the side. Oh, I also carry a cup. I will get into more detail of what's in my cook system if you're interested. Around the front, I just carry a 24 ounce uh, Gatorade bottle. I like the sports cap and the wide open mouth. 
to mix your electrolytes or hydration tablet a little uh, Leatherman style CS pocket knife um, on this side I usually keep my cell phone a pair of sunglasses chapstick in this mesh pocket and uh, maybe some uh, sunscreen as we dive into the internals see what we got here first up on top my food bag this is a light AF um, little bear bag um, I like this because it came with uh, 50 feet of portage a little carabiner and a little rock sack to hang it I also keep uh, my koozie uh, to rehydrate and keep warm my backpacking meals um, this is a great little bag um, I've had it for a couple years now and it's held up fine next up my sleeping pad outdoorsman lab sleeping pad this is a two inch two and a half inch thick pad R value about two and my ditty bag here this is just a little bag I have here that I keep first aid a lighter a pen with some Lugo tape wrapped around some ointment uh, I usually keep my vitamins and some wet wipes my little electronics bag some earplugs my Nightcore NU25 head headlamp a charging cable um, and that's about it and a little baggie of toothbrush toothpaste floss and some q-tips and my poop kit a deuce of spades trowel with some toilet paper and a thing of wet wipes so that's about all I carry in my little ditty bag this can either go on the inside or outside of my pack as we get into my dry bag which I've also done a review of I keep everything that I want to keep dry in this dry bag here I keep my clothes I don't bring too much clothes on my trips um, and it's going to be pretty warm so I keep a buff the next trip pair of smart wool ankle socks um, a pair of shorts with a liner these are the Patagonia Strider Pro 5 inch shorts next up I carry like a wind shirt or a little hoodie this is super lightweight this is a Patagonia air shed um, shirt this is keeps you super warm and it's a good windbreak um, and then my sleep pants I have some Patagonia um, Capilene Thermal Midweight uh, pants it's all like, for extra clothes this is my Nano Puff Patagonia Nano Puff puffy jacket uh, for those cold mornings or right when you get to camp and it starts to get chilly for the rest of my sleep system I have a quilt this is the Outdoor Vitals 15 degree uh, quilt it has a Loftec um, so which means it's uh, part of it's down, part of it's uh, synthetic. It'll keep you insulated even if it gets wet, and it has served me well. And the last thing I have in here is my Trickology pillow. These are great, another luxury item, but it's worth having uh, to invest in sleep, and um, it's great with a pad strap on it. So that's about does it. Uh, the total gear loadout comes in about 16 pounds. Um, but these are all the things that keep me comfortable and safe out on the trail. If you like more content like this, you can hit that uh, like button. Um, but that's about does it for this quick video. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the description below. And I appreciate your support. Until next time, stay safe. 
Take care, Point Leonard.